resume recording. Okay. Well, all these other explanation you can read it from the web. So the real demo uh, have been recorded. So don't worry too much. Um, real demo how how I can use my Tony easier that way. So I should share my screen rather than just the web browser, share the whole screen. Now it's sharing the whole screen and I choose uh, minimize the browser a little bit to have some room of other program. And let's run Tony. Okay, so my interface of running Python is up. Okay. And I need to, ooh, let's starting loading the program here. So I have to open contain three files. So let's load the main first. Okay, so there are three modules. The first one is all about the interface. Okay, so let's ignore them. Okay, but as you can see, it's load. The, the next, the main one is the actual simulator, okay? You can see that I declare a lot of, so all this name is the, the Y and the, the port and other thing inside the, 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 the data part simulation, okay? So the name corresponding to the diagram. So to, to, to understand this code, you, you look at the, the diagram in the web. Now, then this is a, control vector. So it's already implement instruction. The first one is rather interesting, it's nothing. So it's, it's no control is or zero is no active whatsoever, okay? When we run, we will run one instruction by fetch decode execute memory right back. Go read the code which is written exactly like, like uh, the explanation execute different control have to choose the control vector. Okay. okay, I did it here. For the first line, it's important because this is show you that the, we select one vector from the list of control vector uh, previously shown in the code. We select one line and become a list, a CV here, that is printed on, yeah, this kind of thing, okay. Right, so it's a, this kind of list, okay, in CV. And when we pick the control signal one by one, right, uh, control the multiplexer, uh, arithmetic logic operation, whether it's branch, and so on. Okay, so first thing we print it out, which you see in the running of the simulation, we run it shortly. And we read the register into register port R1 and R2, and then we update the wire. They connect the value to the, the other wire. In the programming, it's just assignment, right? And then we start to do each control signal. I wrote it in separate function. For example, I show you how we select multiplexer and another function which how we do do the arithmetic operation. So let's go up. This function define how the multiplexer work, which is very easy. If the control is one, it select one input to, to the output. If it's zero, it select another one. The, the control signal, the first control signal is a control signal of arithmetic logic unit source, right? Because A source, which is equal, if it equal one, then we choose the, the, the input port one. This is multiplexer number two and input port one. Otherwise we select multiplexer two num port input port two, connected it to the output because the, the output is wired to the port two of the ALU. You, the next function is how arithmetic logic is performed. We have the 
function, okay, we call this A of which is the, 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 the this is according to the textbook, right? The zero is and function, one is all function, two is add function, and three is subtract function. So the first, so we implement it here. If it add function, then oh yeah, we use the Python add to, 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 to perform arithmetic, okay, on the tuple. It, it contain the valid value already, right? Because we update the multiplexer and the output connected to A2, right? And A1 probably connected since we read the register bank, okay? So we add it now and the, the output will become valid. So adding extra instruction, we, we just add it here, right? Do you have to know how the instruction is encoded? Okay. In this simulation, we encode the, the the instruction in, uh, in, in, in internal code, okay, because the, the, the actual uh, decoding is uh, specified by the instruction set of, of risk five, okay. So it's, it contains a bit here, a little bit there, and so on. Then we, we encode everything into just one number so that we can handle it easily. And then we just update the uh, connected Y of the output. Yeah. One is to go to the right back. Okay, one is to go to the the uh, memory module, the address. Is it. So this one is uh, computing the effective address. This one is preparing the data to be right back to register. We run main in this ID. You just click run the current script. Boom, and it asks you for the object file and Oh, we haven't prepared the script yet, right? There's nothing in that directory. What we do? Mm, let's go back to the script and make it. I put it in, so let's name it. Save as, we call it test one, okay? And should be dot obj, right? So, okay. so save it here. So we have this file, test one, dot obj in the right directory, we hope. Okay, come back to it. I hope that it is there. It was there, therefore, something like, and we just run. So the first step is finish. Okay, second instruction is also finish. That is good. And we run through. Okay, just to see the simulator work. Uh, this program, Add one, two, three, four, five, and keep it in register four. Okay, I think so. Right, so the the first one is to clear register four, right? Yeah. Boom. So it go on for a while, and register four is fifteen. One plus two plus three plus four plus five. Yeah, fifteen. Hmm, not bad, right? So it give the correct answer. There are some other command you can do. Right, like a uh, dump the memory. So let's say dump zero memory. Okay, we dump the part of the instruction itself. Okay, and say uh, thirty-two byte. So it's a uh, eight instruction. Okay, so, so it doesn't look too well, but should be the the decimal representation of that hexadecimal number. Okay, so yeah, and uh, twenty-eight is zero. Okay which is, yeah, 28 is zero it's because it's no operation. Let's say I want to set the memory at the 128 to number 88, boom. We remember that uh, we, we set the whole word, the four by at once, okay? So we dump uh, uh, 120 with uh, 32 byte. So you can see 128 is what we set. So our Simulator show just a few register. If you want to see the whole set, you can say, show me the register. The negative number will show properly, which is <laughs> rather tricky to do. Let me say, I set X2 to minus three. Okay. Negative number is always tricky in handling. Okay, so I see all the register. Oh yeah, it's, it properly show here. Why? It is difficult to show negative number, sign X10. Yeah. 
because it is a uh, negative number minus one in Python is is quite big, but in it is uh, all the all the, the left hand side of the the binary it will be one, one, one because it is sine minus right to complement number is is all one, but when you, you cut it to thirty two bit then this number is all one until the bit thirty two bit thirty three to sixty four is all zero. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it rather than minus one, it's four hundred thousand something. So you have to change that back. And you probably see that when you want to print the number. Okay, let's quit the simulation. At the end of how we, we we run the simulation. <laughs> 